Hi guys, it's Tanya from 4Girls Jewelry with a quick tutorial how to wire wrap crystals. I did a little research today. I'm not uh, familiar with any like a uh, crystal healing or something, but I just uh, read that there is a lot of um, beliefs that crystals such as like quar quartz, agate, amethyst, opal, uh, believe to heal even the mental health. So there is no scientific proof, but um, you can guys research themselves. Um, there is belief that each gemstone have different power. And I used to have a lot of stones like this. So they drill, this is lapis, but I also have um, tons of quartz. It's a pink color. Um, I have green, it's a pre -night. So today I will show you how I wire wrap them easy way these i got from michael's and they not um perfectly drill i would like to have more drill hole there anyway uh some of them like this one is pretty good for thick wires so i would like to use something that is more um drill better you know if you choose your gemstones just to pay attention to it because if it's only like 24 gauge going through it's not really amazing it needs to be something more uh, like 16 gauge 18 gauge 20 gauge and here are some designs that i um, did the same way we will wrap today i will show you how i wrap that but the shape you can make your own you can do it more a wider if you use the tinier crystals you can narrow it and make it more like more delicate and use it in your longer pieces or on its own with just a leather cord if you wanted to here is the one with the lapis lazuli that i did and if you guys interested in components maybe i can do a separate video about components that i use as well as a chain that was a new chain i did because i use torch here so i thought it will be very nice to uh, bring that up to your chain so i used it also these links it's very very easy to do maybe next next uh, tuesday i can show you uh okay so let's see what we need i think i will uh, wrap this one, this tiny baby. And we will need for that only a piece of wire. You don't need huge because it's, it's just the one that goes through the bead. And see then this one was pretty nice i like the drill hole here because you can work with a nice thick wire for that and we will use two doesn't matter big size like how long it's supposed to be um i like it one smaller and one little bigger so you also from your scrap wire you can use different gauge you can use 20 gauge you can use uh, 18 gauge uh, I don't think 16 will be too thick probably, but you can try that too if you anneal it nicely, if you wanted that thickness. And also 24 gauge. That's for the wraps here. So what we do, we just put the, through the drill hole your wire and then use 24 gauge. Let me quickly unravel it. Okay, so I started from from the one angle. I was going like one, two, depends how many wraps you wanted. I will do probably four, three, four. They have to be tight because you want to later secure it. Like after the four, you secure it on one side. And with the other end, pretty tight 
and you go on the other side. That's what you will have. Just have the perfect tension for, for that one and secure it on both sides. Uh, then I use a smaller, it doesn't matter, you can use larger and here is smaller, it doesn't matter. I just, all of them I start with the smaller inside here and on the other side I did larger stick. And we will do a few reps. Here is five. And I will add a wire here. So we attach them together. Just make sure you have a room later for, for your wrapping on the bottom. Because that's what we will do. And I need my pliers to push wire a little bit. So you need you need room between between those two wires a little bit. So you can nicely wire wrap. And I will make I will work only on the one that we have with the torch that extra wire we just put it in. I will wire wrap around it. And you don't have to even calculate, just decide how long you want it. So, let's see, I will make because it's a small gem, I don't think I will want a huge. A complicated top so let's see this will be like this much squished it together when you do it just try to go slow and we make the first connection here We just wire wrap two wires together. You can make two wraps, you can make one together. It's all aesthetic. I like organic looking, so it's for me, it's I can put one or two. And we will make one more, the same more wraps on the bottom you can calculate as you wish like one two three four five six seven eight nine so it will be ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen maybe sixteen and Yep, so we can again go to the main one and attach. So basically we're done with the one side. And after this, we just uh, probably like three, four wraps, secure it, and you just cut your wire. Cut your wire, you don't need that. Make sure nothing is sticking out, so we'll not catch any clothing or anything. So this side is ready. Now we do the same on the other side. So we have our stick, and the same way we attach together two wires. You can make more wraps if you wanted to, if you feel like you can bend it. One. 
and go back here. Let me just finish this and then I will come back because it's the same, um, the same thing as on the other side. We just make it exactly the same. We just finish another side. So now what we do depends how, how you want to curve that. You just make your shape. If you want it smaller, you can make it smaller too. Let's see if we can squish these wires a little bit. much here on this side so maybe I can remove some so we can make it less of the wraps here I think it's better Okay, so wrap two together on that side. Now we wanted to add these two wires, the one inside here. We want to put them together and wire wrap two around a few times. You can you can sort of like uh, make it the shape that you want you just slowly slowly adjust these guys it's not hard it's just uh, playing and uh, you can put your little closer to the bead like this then I like to make a few, um, just a few swirls up there. So we make one. We can put it. We can twist it inside. I like when it's sitting inside, like that. Then with this wire. You also make one or more swirls you want, but I like to go all the way hugging those two. So you guys hug those and then place it in front of you, how you want it. You can you can leave it like that. See that each piece will be different, or you can make it one more of the yeah something like that. And then you straighten your both wires. If you have straightener, if you don't, use your hands. It's actually a very useful tool. Just like this. Um, we don't need a huge bale here, so maybe. And I use my um, bale pliers for that. So just uh, Make it then I correct it. Oops, let's put it acquire.
Very good. And then we just try to get rid of that 24 gauge. You can also, if you like seed beads, you can put a little seed bead someplace. I left them without anything. It just organically, wherever wires go, it goes. Um, and you're basically done. So you just get rid of the wire. And I like what I do. I will use my rubber mallet. I just hammer it so it will be more um, it's shock the wire and also hard working in your wire so they will be nicely sitting it, it will not move it will not go anywhere it's like a solid piece and yes that's that's all i want to show you for today and hopefully you guys you can make different ones i know crystal now it's very popular and why i want to do this open one because i want to just leave that whole crystal open not wire up on top I thought this would be nice to leave it open because sometimes this one is plain um, but sometimes the top is so organic and nice and looks so cool when it's like open i hope guys you will like it leave your comments below if you would be interested in a chain or components i can film that one for next time on tuesday thank you for watching see you again